These are lies. We've been sold lies, 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 and it's old. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. Today we are responding to a BuzzFeed video that involves McDonald's. It does. It was tweeted to us. <laughs> <laughs> this person says two words. Sponsored content. Possibly. Possibly. We don't know. We assume so. So the video is called Keith Eats Everything at McDonald's. Everything? The tri vlog, anyway. I'm sure this has been done. Like, isn't Super Size Me a version of that? That documentary film by Morgan Spurlock? That's so, right. we already know the outcome of eating everything at McDonald's. It ain't good. Terrible, terrible. So, we actually checked the comments underneath this video, and to our shock and horror, it is number one on trending videos. That is very, very scary. It is. And not only that, but BuzzFeed Video has 13 million subscribers. So that's a lot of people this video is being promoted to. There's kind of, you know, like only one direction that a BuzzFeed video about McDonald's can go. We think South, South. We will see if there's an opportunity to provide some education though. Let's watch this together and respond. Hi, I need to place a, a rather large order. Basically one of every food item there. So like one of every yeah. It's not food. It's violence, you know. We've yeah. got to start looking at it as what it is. You know, these are, you know, sentient beings who wanted to live yeah. and have their, you know, throats slit and hung upside down and bleed out. You know, it's not food. No, but it's a euphemism, isn't it? It we've is. Been, you know, oh, it's food. It's not. You know, we, we think of it as these products that we're supposed to consume, but yeah. they're not. I mean, do we consider roadkill food? And if not, then how is this any different? Yeah. And we're seven seconds into the video. <laughs> All right, I want one Big Mac, one cheeseburger, one quarter pounder with cheese. One double quarter pounder, one buttermilk crispy chicken, one artisan grilled chicken, one fancy chicken nugget. Oh, it's just so, so much bad. death and suffering, and then all of it is needless I because just, we could just, you know, eat plants instead. I now just go see grab death, a... death, 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 yeah. death, death, death. There's not that's that's not a list of food items, just misery. Yeah, I think these guys are in LA. Why not go to a vegan burger establishment? You that's know? the thing. You can or, get all of these burgers, you know, in the vegan version. Yeah. Um, and there's a new um, fast food chain, I think, in the states that's 24 hours, isn't it? That's yeah, vegan. Yeah, yeah. You know? There's lots of vegan fast food these days. So. And we, uh, someone has the Big Mac. Who, uh, what are they called? Doomies. They have a vegan Big Mac. Big Mac. Yeah. So no cruelty needed. Can I get a signature signature sriracha, then the pico guacamole burger? Do you like McDonald's? I like McDonald's okay. I like their chicken stuff. I don't like their burgers as much, but that's because when I was a kid, I had a stomach flu. <laughs> you can have more than just a stomach flu from Big Macs. Oh. Yeah. You gotta watch the film Fast Food Nation because yes. yeah, oh. you, his stomach flu reminded me of. I remember Bruce Willis's character says to the other guy, Greg Kinnear, um, sometimes everyone's gotta eat a little, shit. just cook the meat, you know? I mean, literally, I, literally, you're eating. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. And you know, like, look. Before we went vegan, before we went vegetarian, many years ago, we used to eat McDonald's too. I think everybody in the Western world yeah. grows up with these kind of, again, foods. I don't want to call it foods because they're not. Yeah, I used to work at McDonald's. That was my first job. I was 14 years old. So, you know, I worked there for two years. I've seen what goes on. You know, yeah, I ate it at the time because I didn't see, you know, I saw it arrive in the truck and I, you know, loaded it, unloaded it from the truck into the freezers and what have you. And then I cooked it. But I didn't see, you know, how it, before it got in the truck, you know. And once you see that process, which you can just by going to um, watch Earthlings, which we'll link below. Yes, or Farm right. to Fridge or so many other slaughterhouse videos that are freely available on YouTube. So there's, there's really no excuse because you have to know how that meat ends up on your plate. Yeah. But even yeah. saying so, we stopped eating McDonald's many years before we yeah. became vegan just because we knew that, you know, fast food, that's not the best thing we can no. be doing for our body. And we also know that, you know, McDonald's is really scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, absolutely. Well, see, the funny thing is, you mentioned about health. I remember I stopped eating McDonald's almost oh, in my late teens because I would get the most horrifically sore stomach. I'd bloat and it was stabbing pains and it made me feel so ill that as yeah a teenager I stopped eating it I just I knew that this was not good to to put into my mouth so it's that says something you know for a kid to say yeah. mm, no what are these guys doing it's crazy 105 with 58 cents 
Wow. All that for $105 is actually, uh, what a deal. <laughs> They're trying to make it sound like it's good value for money. Well, the prices are kept artificially low by externalizing a lot of the costs. So if you watch Metanomics, which is right here on YouTube, it's only two minutes and it's an animated uh, film. We'll link it in the description box below. You'll see that you know fast food corporations like McDonald's and all animal products based companies, they externalize costs you know, so you got uh, healthcare costs that you know occur from consuming these products, which are loaded with saturated fat and cholesterol, and linked to you know 14 of our 15 leading causes of death. Uh, there's environmental costs, and they're all, they also receive uh, gross government subsidies. Yeah, so, so it's not the true cost; it's not what you see on on the receipt. No. There's a lot more. If they were to internalise those costs. The prices of um, meat, dairy, and eggs would be exorbitant. People couldn't afford them. No. Certainly not to the extent that they are currently eating. Exactly. You know, it would become a very small part of your diet. I didn't order coffee, right? Yes. You know, maybe they just felt bad for me. Maybe they're like, he's going to need some help pushing this out. Let's give him some coffee. <laughs> yeah, you're going to need the laxative to get out all that yeah, you know, meat that st just constipates Stagnate you. in the colon and, you know, bank you up. Would say like, oh, well, I'm lactose intolerant. I don't want to upset my stomach, but I'm eating everything at McDonald's. That you're not lactose intolerant. Again, you're just not a baby cow. We're not designed to drink the milk from another species. Certainly not as adults. That's no. not designed for us. So, yeah, just no. Let's do this. Then look at all that packaging. Yeah. I mean, the animal agriculture is one of the leading causes of climate change and so many of the things that stem from that. Um, but the packaging is in addition to that. Yeah. You know, how wasteful. Really it, bad for the environment. Terrible. This whole thing. I, I ate a fish sandwich last night and it wasn't that good. This was better than that. And that was a real restaurant. So, good job, McDonald's. One done. I feel like this is just one giant, what is it, 10 and a half minute ad for McDonald's. I really do feel that that's how what this is. How can we feel anything else, it's you know? Bit, yeah. It's ridiculous, isn't it? Mm. Absolutely obscene. Mm. Good fish. Yum, yum. Let's move on to the double quarter pounder with cheese, a signature burger of McDonald's. Mm. A signature heart, heart attack clogging. Burger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's very good. It's a little more meat than I like, but some people like a lot. Of a little more meat than I think. Certainly than the cow, than the wanted. cow wants. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're going to link a heap of resources down below. You know, if you're still eating animal products, but you stumbled across this video, I think it's really, really important that you educate yourself about what you're eating and not just what you're eating, but who you're eating. Until you see the footage of how these animals end up as burgers, there's just a, there's, there's, you're missing the link. And it's, you have to watch the videos linked below. Yeah, and industry, you know? you know, keeps us in the dark for a reason. Because if it showed us the type of footage that you're referring to that is going to be linked in the description below, they know that no one would, you know, willingly yeah, purchase it. They wouldn't want to support that um, kind of needless suffering and death. Whoa, look at the size of this chicken. It's coming out of the sandwich. Oh, yes, here we go. And that's because uh, chickens are genetically modified to grow as big as possible in as short a period of time to, you know, keep turnover high yeah. to satisfy consumer demand. So you've got these, uh, what are babies. essentially babies, you know, six week old babies in adult obese bodies. You know, that often their legs collapse under their enormous body weight yeah. and they're left to sit in their feces and starve to death. Or their, their hearts stop uh, working yeah. or their organs fail because they just can't take this growth rate. So what he's got there is, as you described, a baby. Let's give the body a treat. Let's have some apples, huh? My body. <laughs> yeah, that's so interesting how we instinctively know, yes, let's give the body a treat because this other crap that you're eating, that's not a treat. That is that is death. That is doing you a lot of harm. The treat is the good, clean plant foods, the apples. You know, he knows yeah. this. Big breakfast thing. The bacon is on the pancakes, so I'm going to leave them on the pancakes. I'm no. pretty sure this guy, Keith, was featured in another BuzzFeed video about a year ago. And Keith is shown cradling a baby piglet, you know, and he, you know, recognizes that that is the source of his bacon. And he was in love with the adorable little thing. Remaining um, disconnected from uh, the animals is very, very easy to do exactly. if you don't 
educate yourself and keep them in mind. Yeah, and nor did he see at that time um, how the bacon goes from being the piglet in his arms yeah. to being on his plate. Yeah. You know, if he'd seen that, then that is something that, you know, you can't unknow. Yeah. You know, once you've seen it, you can't unknow it. 32 different things. Not really though, because they didn't give me salads. They, they doubled up one of my breakfast sandwiches, but my mind is very foggy. Got a case of the post Thanksgivings, you know? Yeah, that's what happens when you eat such a high fat meal. You know, you get that brain fog, well, you the, just get the, yeah. oof, what's the, going on? The blood thickens. And so, you know, it's not flowing at the same rate around your artery, yeah. so it's not transporting oxygen to your brain uh, at the same pace. Yeah. And so you're just left feeling, you know, yeah, in this fine. brain fog, he's also meat fog. This is sort of where we are. I kind of enjoyed everything. Look at that packaging. Incredibly oh, irresponsible disgusting. and just grossly uh, wasteful. Bluffiness. And the other thing I was thinking about is, look, we have like almost a billion people on this planet exactly. starving to death. They don't have enough food. Now, it's not that we don't have enough food to distribute to everybody on the planet. We are growing enough crops. To feed 10 billion people. There's only 7.5 billion of us. We're feeding those crops to animals Up to, to slaughter them. Up to 50% worldwide. Yeah, to, to fan them up before we slaughter them to do what this guy's doing. Um, so you have so many people starving to death in the world, and then you have these ridiculous videos that are made just to just to get clicks just for attention that are showing the extreme opposite yeah. to starvation exactly well we've got that's why we've got a billion Awful. people also suffering from obesity and obesity related diseases yes. so yeah. what kind of a world are we you know it's supporting crazy. with our dollar here that's what you've got to ask yeah. yourself time for lunch <laughs> wow yeah speciesism <laughs> oh at play here speciesism yes. is where we put one species of animal above another for example so in this case we're feeding you know a, a burger that came from the flesh of a cow for example or it could be from the flesh of a fish or, or, a, a, pig, or a chicken or a pig to a dog because we place the dog here and all those other food animals down here now imagine if we switched it around imagine if we were feeding a dog burger to a cow. Oh, there'd be public outrage, wouldn't there? You've got to start considering why are we drawing these arbitrary lines between species? Why are you giving me McDonald's? It's old too. Do you want to grab something? I think you're going to have to, you know, flash your charm. Is this making you... They can't even give it away free. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Hungry? Which one of you ate from it? You're not charming enough, Eugene. What'd you get? I got breakfast. It looks questionable. Don't worry about that. We're spreading happiness. This has a huge bite at it. You're not spreading happiness. You're spreading misery. You're spreading disease. You're spreading... Suffering and death. Yeah. And environmental destruction and... Oh. No, nothing happy about this. Spreading joy. Why is this And No, it's not joyful either. My gosh. But look, I understand. I mean, think about the marketing that McDonald's has used over so many generations. Happy Meals, they teach kids that your happy moments as a child is eating this meal in a box and you get a little toy and you're at McDonald's with mum and dad on the weekend and it's all happy times. So forever after you associate McDonald's with happiness and so then you continue to eat it into your adulthood yes. until you watch things like What the Health and Earthlings and Cowspiracy and educate yourself as to the reality behind you know the veneer and the subliminal marketing and messages. And then you're just like, you know what? These are lies. These We've are been sold lies, 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 lies. And it's old, you know? I mean, I think one of the reasons that this kind of video is made yeah. is because the industry is so desperate. Veganism is growing, okay? With all the documentaries that you mentioned, it is growing, it's spreading. People are waking up. 2017, who eats animals? That is so weird yeah. to eat animals. McDinosaur. We don't do it Isn't anymore, it? but yes! Yeah. It's McDinosaur. Get That's with the times, school. guys. You know, veganize your menu. Exactly. That's how you'll, you know, flourish into the future. Yeah. Otherwise, you're just a dying corporation because yeah. no one wants to, you know, pay for that kind of misery and suffering and needless death. Yeah. What did you guys think anyway? <laughs> Leave your comments down below. Let us know. Is it time for McDinosaur to hit the road or just veganize their menu? It's quite simple, isn't it? The answer is very easy. Simple as that. Yeah. Like, share and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. Make sure you ding that bell and check the box as well so that you're notified every time we upload a new video. And remember until next time that going vegan is not the most we can do. It's the absolute least we can do. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.